So having identified some uh, relationships or, or rather correlations within our data set, we're now going to start to look at differences. Uh, before we continue with that, in our, in our last example, we uh, split the file uh, so that we can look at correlations within teams. So it's always important to remember that you have to then go back uh, and uh, uncheck that. So we don't want to split our output that we get uh, by team because we're going to be comparing them now. So what we're looking for here is a comparison between the blue team and the green team. Uh, essentially who scored best on each of our tests and we're going to go to analyze and we're going to go compare means ultimately that's what we're doing we're comparing the the mean score from the blue team to the mean score uh, of the green team along each test because it's different athletes within each team they're independent it's an independent samples t-test that, that we use if it had been the same athlete, so for example, we tested the blue season at the start of pre-season, at the end of pre-season, and we want to see if they made a difference, well, that would be a paired samples t-test because they're the same person within each test. Uh, but these are two different uh, groups altogether, two separate uh, uh, teams. So it's an independent samples t-test that we now use. What we want to do is, uh, again, just analyze the best score. We could do one at a time, but uh, also we can just stick uh, the whole lot across and, and get the output per, um, uh, per variable. We also have to identify um, how we're, we're dividing the team. I mean, in this example, there are only two teams, but you might have uh, other data sets where there's three, four, five different teams but you're only interested in a comparison between two. So you go into define groups. We labeled uh, group one uh, or, um, or the blue team as one, so we just stick one in there, and the green team as two. So uh, again, we uh, put two in there. If we had a, a third or a fourth team, uh, maybe a red team, and we labeled them three, then I might want to look at one versus three. So uh, we've defined uh, the groups and then uh, we simply just press OK. So we get our data output and we get the, uh, the means um, per, uh, per team across each of the tested variables and then here we get our, our uh, independent samples t-test results. So we have here our significance value but before we start to interpret that we just need to uh, ensure that the, um, the variance between each of the groups was was similar and if they were similar then we get a value that is above 0.05 and you can see that uh, the this Levine's test for equality of variance all of this all of the results are above 0.05 so there was equal variances if any of these scores are less than 0.05 then the variation or variability between the groups was, was, was significantly different but it doesn't matter, we just read across this, this bottom level of significance. So here, and for all of them, equal variance is assumed, and this is above 0.05, therefore we read the top uh, number uh, within this t-test significance value. So here, if the value is less than 0.05, there's a statistical significant uh, difference between the two teams. Here there is no statistical difference between the two teams across acceleration, none across speed. However, this value here is less than 0.05, therefore they are statistically different in their scores for pro agility, also for the counter movement jump and also for the RSI, not for the others. So to identify who was statistically better than who, we could go across to the pro agility, look at the mean scores, Obviously speed you want the lowest score, so uh, the blue team are statistically uh, faster at the, at the pro agility than the green team. Uh, they also jump higher statistically and um, have an RSI that is statistically better as well. So there's our interpretation of differences between the, the two teams.